Okay. Who's ready for the yard sale haul? Because we went to six yard sales and so there's going to be a haul. And you're going to need snacks for this one. There's definitely more than one Ikea bag happening. Let's get going. Hi, I'm Amy the Rainy Day Shopper. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark eBay Depop and uh, have I got a haul for you or well I've got a lot of stuff. We'll see if we think it's any good or not. But if you didn't see my come yard sale with me, I will link it below. I am terrible at this and it was super hot. So it's well you'll see. It's if you if you are interested in those things, there's at least some footage. So yes, I haven't had any practice this year because it's the first time I've tried it. And I did end up going to six yard sales even though I was only intending on going to one. But since I went to those, I didn't buy at every one. I did buy, there were two I didn't buy at, but I did buy at four. So that's pretty good. And I have, uh, we'll start with the one that I originally was heading for. This was actually a yard sale that I went to last year and it's a family of pickers. They have this gigantic yard sale every year. It's tradition. Unfortunately, their dad just passed away in February and then mom is now in hospice. So I don't know how long they'll be keeping this up. It was definitely lighter than normal, but I didn't go on Thursday because I had to take mom to chemo. And so I headed out on Friday, which is my birthday. So I mean, since I was doing nothing else on my birthday, mom had chemo, dad had surgery the day before. Seriously, it was just not a time to have any birthday festivities. And you know, we're in the middle of a lockdown, so I couldn't invite everyone over for a party. So I went thrifting, mm, yard selling. Let's see what I got, enough this chitter chatter. Uh, like I said, you may want snacks because we got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go as fast-ish as possible, but you know me, so this could be a long one. It will be a long one. There's a lot, there are many bags. Uh, anyway, so first things first, I got this little pair of Velcro Nikes. They do have some damage. I think it's dirt that I can get off. Uh, these are kids, they're just super cute. And I think they're vintage just based on the tags, but I'm gonna have to do a little more research on those. So I got those, those are super cute. Let's see, where am I putting things? <laughs> it's all this, mm, all right. Uh, then I got this pair of boots, uh, Itasca. So these are just kind of a pair of like galoshes, work boot kind of galoshes. What size are these? Uh, these are a size six. And I don't think they're anything super great as far as that goes. I think they're a men's six. They look too big to be a woman's six. I don't think they're anything super great, I think, but they're just in good condition. And people around here always need workish boots. So I grabbed some. All right, hold on. I got this cute little pair of Taos little sandals they are like they don't look really worn at all on the bottom there is some a little sign of footwear there but i just thought they were super cute what size are these they have some velcro adjusting these are a size do 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 seven so and just you know really cute little comfy sandals all right I Mm, I need a table. I, I definitely need a table. I would go outside, but it's way too hot. Uh, these are a pair of Steve Maddens. These are so nice. Let's see what size are we. These are a... Don't know. I'll find it. It's dim in here because it's daylight. Anyway, so these are in really good condition. Uh, I'll clean up the bottoms a little more, but good condition. Someone I was, I ran over to the shoe table first because last year I got so many amazing Nikes there that I've sold most of now. I think I still have two pairs left. Plus I got some really good boots that I sold for like $90. I bought them for 10. Uh, but like I said, it was a second day. So I think they were, I don't know what, as if there was as much the first day. I asked and I got a weird answer. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, but someone, I was grabbing another pair of shoes and then someone picked these up and put them down. So these are just a nice pair of Keen sandals. Good condition. The bottom can use a, just a little better of a wash, but they're pretty clean um, and not a lot of wear. Yeah. So nice sandals there. Let's see. Are those all the shoes? Don't mind me. I'll probably edit part of this out because I'm going to be bending over a lot because it's just awkward that way. Okay. Let's move this a little closer. There we go. All right, so I got this bag. It is Brooklyn Industries. It's just like a messenger bag, kind of a satchel. And I just thought it was kind of fab. Uh, I just like the vibe. I don't think it's super special. Definitely could be a laptop bag, but it's kind of cool. 
strap pockets. I just like the vibe. Feels very like nerdy professor kind of to me. And those are cute, so there we go. I got these. I've started watching, I don't know if she came up on my channel. Her name is Kelly Breathkist. I'll link her stuff down below. She goes trash picking. Oh my gosh, I've been like binge watching her just because I put on a video and then I'm working and it just keeps going. But she finds the coolest thing. Anyway, she found like a pair of pants. I think it was at a, an estate sale or I can't remember if she pulled them out of the trash. Anyway, so I just picked these up to see what they were. I think these are, she found hockey pants. I don't know if these are hockey. I think these are football. Men's size large, level one, range C. I don't know what that means. But I just thought I'd look at that. Let's see. Yeah, IPS head pad. So, grabbed them. Anyway, let's see what do we got here. Oh, this is just a London Fog. And again, I don't know where this tag is from. I've seen these at a couple of yard sales. I'm like, where are people getting those at? Those are not goodwill tags. Anyway, this is just a really pretty, this is what size, a large, uh, just a nice London fog, kind of the ultra suede, the really, really soft. Let's see, you can go in the washi pile. Okay, I just got rid of the old washi pile and now I have to make a new washi pile because I went out and bought more stuff. Ooh. All right, uh, these are a pair of Nike Golf, they are new with tag, just this cool seersucker pair of pants. And I just very much harkens back to a really lovely time. Well, okay, not so lovely. It just, it looks lovely in videos and pictures with everyone in charming little stripy pants and all that. And it was really a horrible time for many, many people, but we're, I just like the pants, okay? Oh, let's see, where am I putting you? New with tags back there, all right. Uh, this is a pair of pants as well. This is Mountain Hardware. Uh, this is also new, I think. Yeah. Um, let's see. Does it have a price on it? They put tape on it. Don't. If you ruin it, I'm gonna get mad and I'm pulling off the tape. So I did pay up a little for these. Man, this is the Something Series UF. UPF 50, knife pocket at hip, zip security pocket. Um, these are 42, 52 men. It doesn't say, I didn't see a price. So these are just like outdoorsy kind of pants. I sold a mountain hardware coat that was not new with pegs last year for about 90 bucks. Um, and I might've gotten that coat at that sale, by the way. So, yeah, I did not spend, I only spent about 70 bucks on everything at the sale. A couple of things like the new with tag stuff they charge more for. And their mo the prices are mostly reasonable. So I didn't bargain too much. I think I got $5 off, $7 off. All right, what is this? This is a vest and it's reversible. I believe it's down. Let's see if I can find the... Do, do, do the tag so I can tell you for sure what it is. Oh yeah, it's L.L. Bean says extra large. Uh, it is reversible, is goose down. So let's see, here we go. I've been doing pretty well with L.L. Bean. Again, just kind of a classic quality outdoorsy stuff. Um, so it's this really cool kind of magenta on the outside, magenta e purple, and then lavender on the other side. And the, the lavender side has zip pockets, the magenta side. It does not. Let's see, I can wash you, I know. So I'll put you in the washi pile. Let's see, this was new with tags. I have not heard of this brand, but this dress was so cute. Oh, it's Francesca's, I have heard of this brand. When did I heard of this brand? Where was I thinking it was something else? Um, this is just a size small. And it is just the cutest little dress. So don't mind the little hangy things here. But look at the sweetness of it. It's so pretty. So it's got the nude underlay. It's got the black lace. It's got an open back, like a very elongated keyhole. A cute little skirt. I just had to pick that up. It's so cute. And eventually people will get to dress up and go out again. Ooh, this is so fun. Okay. This is one clothing. 
It is, what size are we? Medium. And it's this sheer blouson kind of top with wider sleeves, right? So it's not that exciting. It does have a little keyhole back there. It's just all black, a little sheer. But it comes down to the sequin shorts. It's a romper with the sequin booty shorts. Oh my gosh. I love this. Uh oh, hold on. Oh, awkward. I'm so sad. Well, what do you expect to happen with the sequin booty shorts? Okay, so those will be a tax write off. Um, the sequins and the crotch are worn off. How did I not check that? Awkward. It was super hot, so I tried to film. Like I got there, I tried to film. I couldn't see because it was so bright, even though my sunglasses turned, I mean, my glasses turned. That is just so disappointing. Someone might still wear it, but I don't think I really want to sell it in that condition. Poop. Poop. Uh, anyway, it was super hard to see and it was super hot. And then the mask and there was sweat dripping, like under the mask, was, it was mm, it's not good. So there you go, that's my excuse, I'm sticking with it. The booty shorts though, with the sequins, I just messed up. Anyway, these are Lucky Brand, these are men's, what size are we? Uh, 36, 36, where's the length? Give me the length with your lucky brand pants. Are you stay why you're stitched there? That's weird. All right, it says 36, but it doesn't say anything else. And um, it's so funny. I don't know if you've sold lucky brand, but the lucky you when you unzip them. Seriously, seriously lucky. Work with me here. Uh, but men's lucky brand pants have been some of my quickest sellers. The ladies, not as much, but these are a nice size. They're a color I haven't sold before. Mostly I've sold a darker wash. I'm not sure these are as fashionable, but I think they just have a cool vintage vibe. Uh, they are in good shape. I did check the crotch on these, just not on the sequined rumper. Mm! All right, now this is cute. I had to buy this. This is vintage, size large. It is a Corette Francisca, but it's like this coral colored, kind of like a windbreaker, but it's a cotton, I think. Yeah, cotton poly. Um, it just has like a great vintage vibe and I feel like it's oversized enough I could even wear it. It is probably oversized enough that I could even wear it. Uh, and I'm like an 18, 20-ish, 16 on a good day, which mm, no, probably not. So given the past few months, it's definitely 18, 20, not close to 16. Whoa. All right. Oh, this is pretty. So this I would normally pick up uh, Gap. I do pick up occasionally, but this is new with tags. It's an extra large tall and it's just this really cute little dress. Uh, it's orangey red. It has a tie waist and then it has the ruffle at the bottom and it's so cute. Um, I did pick up a lot of sweaters and such at other places, but this I just wasn't really super excited about the clothes at this one. And last year I got a whole bunch of stuff there. So, just depends on what they found, I guess. So this is also super cute. This is a Free People, old tags, uh, size medium, but it's a waffle knit. Look at that. So it kind of has the very kind of old, a little bit, this is kind of a vintage, I would say 40s, 30s that neckline with this kind of cut here. Then it goes to a drop waist and then a full skirt. I just thought that was super cute. It's gray, does have some pilling, so I'll need to do a little shaving of it. Shave the clothes. All right, what else have we got in here? This is the first Ikea bag is done. Then I got another, a smaller bag from that sale. And then we'll switch to the second sale. Doo -doo -doo. Like I said, this is gonna be a longer haul. So get your work. Grab a snack, put your feet up and just relax if you want to. Okay, I can, I don't know what this is. I can't find, I am so confused. Wow, I was trying to do that artfully while talking. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that wasn't very artful. This is just a great Northwest, which is kind of sold at Kroger. Not a super high-end brand, though dresses do sell for like 60 to 70. Are you serious? Um, but I got it because of the size and it's super cute. So it's a 24W and it's just this little sheer with the ruffle front. It has a belted waist and then down to 
uh, not really a super full skirt, but just a nice skirt. So it's blue sole and it's gonna be super flattering. Uh, so I picked that up and I should be able to wash that. I'm not even gonna look. I'll look when I wash it though. All right, where are we going next? We are still with this bag. This bag has some pants. These were cute. I picked them up. They're a Chico size one. Um, but I just thought they were fab. They're just little capris. They were a dollar. Yeah, they were a dollar. Someone has, oh, I didn't notice that. Someone has taken the waist and done a little tuck here in the back. Not super well. That's not bad though. Uh, they did both sides like you're supposed to do, obviously, when pants don't fit your waist. I will probably just measure it as is and disclose that. That way someone can decide that they're the perfect size for their waist because they have a bigger booty than their waist, which is my case. I always have gappy pants. That's why I can't do high rise at all. Uh, these I got because I want to try them on. These are Lane Bryant uh, size 18 and they are, where did it say? It said somewhere. Oh, uh, they are mid rise, super stretch skinny. And I know skinnies are out, but I just started wearing them like last year. Uh, I love the little frayed hem detail. So I want to try those out. We'll see how they do. Otherwise I'll sell them. Uh, but I still have boot cuts that I'm from the nineties. So I'm really fine on boot cuts. I don't really have straight legs. I have a couple straight leg jeans, but they're just not mm, my thing. No, there was too much thought about it. I was like, what else was I going to say about that? I don't know. Uh, I got these because I don't know what they are. Oh yeah. These are Melissa McCarthy seven. I kind of want to try these two. These are size 20. These are a straight leg. Hold on. So these are just a nice straight leg and a medium wash. I've never tried any of her jeans. Uh, they're fairly expensive in the stores. So I thought I'd try those too. Cause like I said, I don't really know what size I am right now because mm, mm, I, and we'll talk about more jeans that might be mine or might be sold. Anyway, I figure it's good for everybody. This is another pair of jeans. Oh, these are J crew 3434. These are guys. Uh, so I picked those up. Those are a super light wash, really good condition. As far as I know, watch, I'll, I'll probably see a lot of stains, uh, but that's just the tag. Let's see, do they say anything here? No. So yeah, thought those were nice guy jeans. I don't have a lot of guy jeans right now. I'm kind of low on them. And like I have 2000, almost 2000 items for sale in my closet, but it doesn't feel like I have that many items in my closet. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's weird. Oh, this is another J. Crew, same kind, uh, just a darker wash. Yeah, 34, 34. So the same persons. There was a pair of, there, were, there was another pair of Luckies that I really wanted to pick up, but they were like the other Luckies, they didn't charge them up, but they wanted $10 for this pair of Luckies. And then the crotch was worn. I was like, no, thank you. I don't think so. So I think this bag is all jeans and then we will switch to the next a yard a sale. Now these are Oleg Cassini size 34. I don't know how long they are. Uh, I just thought I'd pick them up. They had a kind of an interesting wash. It's kind of a grayish blackish heathered. I don't know. Are you, I think you're, it might be bluish blackish. I don't know. It's hard to see right now. Most six have my glasses off because otherwise I glare too much. All right. I don't know if you could hear that either. So I am feeling, these are black jeans. That's that. I don't know a lot about them except I just like the style. What size are you? They're 38, 32. Uh, but I just really like the paint spotters and the distressing on them. Someone's going to be, you know, in proper attire needed. They're definitely distressed, factory faded. They've got paint splatters. I just like the vibe. Someone will look cute in them. All right, and what are these? Oh, these, these were super awesome. I could not believe that they didn't have these marked up more. So these are just North Face, uh, like size medium. They're a brown like snowboard ski pant. They have got like, you can unzip the crotch to air out and stuff or to go to the bathroom. All of the important things in life. All right, we did it. Two bags down. 
Let me adjust real quick, grab the other, the second yard sale. <sighs> That's a big one, hold on. Okay, I have a big bag full, mostly because I only took two Ikea bags with me because I was only really planning on going to the one yard sale and then there was a yard sale right across the street and they had lots and lots of clothes hung up. So you know I had to go. And then all their clothes and shoes were $1 each. So uh, there are two things I did pay more for. We'll start with one of them. This is just a wetsuit. I had really good luck. I sold a wetsuit on, this is a men's extra large. It has aqua seal. It does have a little bit of an issue here. Uh, this was $2, so I did pay up for it. But I'll just disclose any issues and how do you unzip? There's a string, a thing. I don't know how these things work. Uh. Okay. Um, let's see. And it's, I was trying to get to the thing. So I did sell a wetsuit that I got on eBay and I didn't get it on eBay. I sold it on eBay and actually I had sent an offer out. So this is HO Sports. I guess. Um, I don't know if it's inside out. I think it's inside out is a problem. Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. It's like, this is just, it's weird. It's not working right. Okay, it is inside out. It has, but it has a pull so you can zip it up yourself. And it has a symbol on the front. So I will give that a wash, do a quick stitch up at the collar, which should be pretty easy to do. The neoprene will be fine and I'll disclose it, of course, if there's a little repair there. So someone would need to know that. Um, but should be able to sell that. Now let's see. Ouch. Oh, that's from another sale. You can go in that bag because that's where you belong. All right. Oops, it fell down. And then I got this one too, which is probably, no, it's not inside out. Uh, this one is a little more, I guess, dirty-ish but it's in really good condition it just could use a good clean and do you have a brand that i can see this one's really heavyweight it is uh, those are cleaning instructions i'll have to find the brand but i won't do it right now because here it has a little fading but so it probably won't sell as much as the first wetsuit that i sold but that's okay all right let's see what else i got so again like all of this stuff was a dollar uh, this is just a super cute skirt. I love stripes. I love red and white. You put the two together. I'm a sucker. Give me a candy cane any day, but I don't really like eating them. Mm. Uh, down east, size small. Hopefully I can wash you, but I'll put it in the, I think I can wash you pile and then I'll check. These are a pair of Brooks Brothers, waist 35, length 32, 100% uh, wool pants which unfortunately I just noticed that there was a hole in sadness right there. See, and that's a fairly significant one. Oh, well, um, I can sew that up and just close it as they're Brooks Brothers. They will still probably sell. Those are gonna have to go in the dry clean pile. Um, I'll double check and see if there are any more small holes. I may redonate them. Oh, well tax right off. This sweater has a stain on it that I saw, but I really thought I could get it out. Plus I wanted, I just thought it was really cute. So it's Fortune Knits. It's made in the USA. It's vintage Argyle. And it's got this little peach and tan and cream. And as you can see, there are a couple little spots. Um, but it was just such a cute little sweater. I didn't want it to not be loved. So I thought I'd give it a chance. And if I can't get the spots out, I'll still disclose it and sell it. I recently, I just sold a bundle. It's my birthday sale. Hey, you're probably watching this after my birthday sale's over, but I'm doing a sale and I sold, I wanted to take a package picture this morning cause I had five packages going out from yesterday and then two more this morning. Uh, but the mailman came before I could take the picture, which is fine. I haven't taken any package photos for a while, but I, I don't know how I feel about them, but it was just kind of fun for my birthday. Say, hey, it's a sale, buy some stuff. We'll see, anyway, I don't have a big enough following to get like a whole bunch of sales from it, but oh well, I can pretend I do. This is cute. This is an Eddie Bauer, I believe it's vintage. It's a size large, but look at the cuteness of this wool sweater. So it's kind of Nordic, Icelandic, 
don't know exactly what, but look at the buttons. Oh my gosh, you know I love those. So cute. Can I wash you? Dry clean, no. Do you say? Do you say I can wash? Ooh, I can wash and reshape and dry flat. I shall do that. So this one I got a whole bunch of sweaters at. I was feeling very excited about all the big sweaters. This is a Cabela's Knitted by Hand for Women Extra Large. Uh, I just love this. So it has kind of a mountain scene on it. So cute. And a big old cardigan. So fun. I might, oh, it has a wolf. I didn't even notice. You see, there's a wolf. I didn't even notice the wolfy look. Look at him there. Hi, wolfy. I'll wash that. This is Alfred Denner 1X. Um, I just thought this was cute. Very granny chic. I like it. I might have to try it on. I don't need any sweaters because I get so hot. I don't wear sweaters. It's just a thing, you know? All right. Plus it has, oh, fuzzy, yucky. I need to check pockets for Kleenex. You know what I'm saying? Awkward. This is a, hey, Dress Barn 1820. I had good luck with Dress Barn and I just love the little, how pretty is this gonna be for Christmas on someone? It's a little shimmer. It's got the all over beads and it's in very good condition. It doesn't feel like it's really been worn. Yeah, I can wash it. I shall wash it. Okay, now this was super funny. Okay, so you may have seen a haul. Uh, Rachel wanted this sweater, I think, a while ago, where I hauled this. Karen Scott, uh, made in Australia, 100% wool sweater. And it was extra large. It was actually, this one has more blue than the other one does. This one is an extra large. The other one wasn't an extra large. Well, I just sold that sweater and it was this color. Uh, I literally just sold it this week. She rated it five stars. She just got it. This is so cute. I love this sweater. So of course, you know, I grabbed it. I've already sold one. Easy peasy. And I can wash these. I did. Uh, no, dry clean. Okay. But the picture online, I don't know how the picture looked more. That's like definitely tan. The sweater I had that I sold was more tan, but the picture looked gray. So I just emailed her. I said, I just pulled this sweater. And really it looks, even though the description says tan, it, the picture looks great. She's like, oh, that's great. Send it along. Well, I found a gray one too. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So it's an extra large. It's so pretty. I am super tempted to keep this one. Um, but Rachel, let me know if you want me to send you a present. I'll figure out. Rachel sent me something like in March, I think, and it hasn't gotten here from England. And I'm super sad. But I'm really, it's so sweet of her to think of me. So hopefully the mail will get it together. But someone sent me something from Australia like last year and I never got it. So, um, so anyway, this I'm super tempted to keep because it's so cute. All right. This is, now this I was, hopefully there aren't any spots that I see now. Again, it was, the light was just crazy glary and it was hot and I was melting. This is Miracle Berry, which is nothing I've ever heard of. It's a vintage, it's made in the USA. The tags are down there. But it's this really long blue sewn. It's like a dress. It has a tie waist, which I think is just decorative. But it has the elastic around this waist and then it has like a pencil skirt. And it's this cream. And I just think someone is gonna like look so chic in this with some boots. It's like a thin sweater dress. It's super soft. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's acrylic because I checked. Just let's see. Oh, rayon, poly spandex, yes. Made in the USA, size medium. So there you go. I just thought that was super cute and someone could have some real fun kind of styling that with a scarf or whatever. This is Ambience, two extra large. I don't know that brand, but this is a really cute jacket. It has the drawstring waist. Uh, zip. It has zip pockets. It has these flaps down here. It's a really pretty color. Again, super tempting to, it ties in the back so you can cinch also the bottom. Interesting. Oh, that's weird. That's just weird. Why does it tie in the back? I don't know. Why do you want to cinch your butt? Anyway, 
Uh, so it's super cute and I don't need any coats because I have coats and I never wear coats because hot. I mean, not like hot, but just like hot. I'm super whiny right now. Give me heat and I get whiny, apparently. Uh, this is Moha Devi Designs Sustainable Clothing Made in Canada. That's what that looks like. But it's this super cool velour. And I don't know if it's a jacket. I don't know what it is. It's a wrapped top. Hold on. It's wrapped. It's tied. Let me untie this. I think it's a robe. Like a robe top. It has a hood. But it's not a robe. It's got this cool... <coughs> Awkward. That's okay, I'm gonna wash it so I can touch it. Uh, like, I don't wanna touch it. Anyway, it's just really pretty. And I don't know anything about it, but it feels like super high quality. It feels really good. So I figured that was worth taking a look at for a dollar. I'm much more interested, in, like I'll take more risks when things are super cheap just because it's it's worth exploring and learning more about things. And like I said, I did not stop to look anything up at this these yard sales. I will look them up now and will either donate or sell depending. There are some things I definitely bought at this sale with the eye that, yeah, these might be donated up to the homeless in Portland. So that was cool uh, just because this is a Dole sweatshirt. It is a size medium, Dole Hawaii. So from the Hawaii plantation, the uh, pineapple plantation. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. Now I know that for native Hawaiians, the pineapple trade, the pineapple plantations are very problematic in many ways, but I just thought this was also kind of cool as far as just the history and the vibe of it. All right, this one I got just because it's a Columbia size small. I believe it's men just based on the size. It's a really nice, uh, just kind of a layer. It, and it's probably waterproof is my guess. And I may have another jacket this exact same colorway that is from Nike. The green and the gray. It's a whole Northwest thing apparently. They're both Northwest companies. Uh, this I thought will be a great one to donate if I don't end up selling it. All right, what do we got here? This is an Eddie Bauer size large, oh no, size small uh, corduroy jacket. It definitely has some wear to the corduroy, which I think is fine. It adds some charm, it adds some detail. So it's just basically, it's like a little schoolboy jacket actually. Let's see, it's got the line here with the pockets. Um, so just cute. Like I said, corduroy is coming back in this fall. If not this fall, next fall. But this fall, I think. Okay, this is gorgeous. This is the only, like, super true vintage piece that they had there. <gasps> and I love it. It's so pretty. I'm worried about the velvet a little bit. Okay, so look at that gorgeous color. Oh my gosh, isn't that just reminding of everything romantic in the world? So this gorgeous vintage olive. It has... It's lined with this, the orange, the rust taffeta. I've seen a dress like this and I can't remember where. And the sleeves actually hook an eye. I mean, I don't know who's gonna wear that sleeve. Look at how tiny that is. Oh my gosh, so small. Uh, and then it has the olive satin skirt. I think I can get that off. I didn't notice that. I can get that off. Yeah, there are a couple little spots right there that of course I just noticed now because that's me. Um, I still would have bought this with those spots no matter what. This is a beautiful dress. So amazingly gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Okay, you need to go in the do something special with you pile. All right. And it might be handmade. I didn't look for tags on that one. I just grabbed it. I mean, I did look for tags. So this is an Ella Moss size 16. It is a lightweight kind of knit sweater dress almost. It's got a kind of 20s vibe with the kind of drop waist pleated skirt. It's really interesting. I love the feel of it. Seems really nice. Can I wash you? See side for washing. All right, I will see the side. I will see the side. Okay, we're getting through the big two bags. Yes, I can wash, okay. Uh, this I was the first thing I grabbed just because I think it's super fun. 
it's this weird beaded purse i guess it's not weird it's just fab so this is like a uh, quilted wool it feels like it's cache but not like cache so i need to look that up but it's got this fun beaded fringe this crazy fringe here it's in really good condition there are no pockets inside so it's just open and then it's got this wrapped so like they're beads and this is then wrapped kind of jute not sure exactly it's not bamboo or wood anyway i thought that was just adorable so i grabbed it and you know for a dollar oh this is for i got this for this is just a panhandle rough stock extra large uh and i actually got that for someone if you if you don't want it he's just gonna cut because it has a little i think discoloration there he's gonna cut off the sleeves and wear it out on the farm but if he doesn't want it i'll sell it what is this Ooh, this is cute this is 100 percent silk and it has butterflies on it and i love it it's just an ideology size 12 and it's got this kind of asymmetric floaty hem it's beautiful so pretty and it's got butterflies like i said so i picked that up all right then we come to a pair of dance goes and these are a size 40. cute they do have some like tearing on the lining in the back so i'll try and glue that down and i'll just disclose it or i'll redonate them i'll see if it's as it didn't show i looked more closely at the other shoe obviously when i bought it so this is a kenzie little pair of booties just black suede super cute pretty decent heels i mean and soles just need a wash uh these are another pair of dance goes really good condition on the bottom seriously um let's see do you have a size where do you have a size uh, of course you don't have a size because that would make my life easy do, do, do. all right no size I'll find it eventually. I'll probably need to break out the flashlight. Okay, these are... Okay, these, I don't know what they are. But someone has, like, the shoe horn in there. Uh, they feel amazing. They are, let's see, Bristol. Bristol, I think. But just look at the fab of that loafer for a man. That's not really a loafer. That's kind of an Oxford because it laces, but it's not really an Oxford. Anyway, it's perforated. It's just, it's just a fab shoe. So I picked it up. I'll do some research. All right, uh, let's see here. Another pair of dance goes. These might be my size. Yeah, this, you can see the size. These are size 41, so that's my size. Uh, black, good condition. Classic dance go, basic. All right, and I think these are Birkenstocks, but I could be wrong. They have the bottom, uh, but it's all worn off here. So I'm gonna do a little research and see. They just have this lace with silver. Um, but if not, they're gonna be a great one to donate. So no big deal. That's all I got from that sale. So we're gonna move on. The third sale, nothing. The fourth sale, nothing. The fifth sale was an estate sale and i did take a, quite a bit of footage there the prices were all pretty high so i didn't buy that much i did get a few things so let me just grab that bag because it's right here hold on all right so this top i grabbed actually and i was gonna buy it it didn't have a price on it but the sign said everything a dollar except if it was marked on the inside all the clothes outside were way more expensive so it's a styling company, size 2X. It's just this beautiful boho sheer peasant top. But when I got it outside, and I did take things out into the light to look at the sale, just because things were a little pricier, um, I found that there was a little hole here in the back. And it is actually new with tags. So this is a Macy's brand. 
It was originally 70 bucks. Um, but I was just like, oh, I'll put it back. It has a hole. And she's like, oh, well, if you want it, I'll just give it to you for free. And I'm like, well, I can stitch up the hole. So yeah, I'll take it for free. Why not? And if nothing else, I will wear it because it'll be super cute. Though I worry about getting spots on white things. All right. Then they had an interesting assortment of clothes. I have never heard of this brand before. These are Apollo jeans. And these are a size 1920. Um, you can see that right there. And I thought these are super cute. They're actually like little gaucho pants. And so you know I'm trying these on because they just have a little bit of a style to them, which I, I've never seen this brand before. If they are a brand of importance or they don't fit my booty or both, uh, I will be selling them. But I thought I'd just try them on because they're super cute. Got these little snap flat pockets in the back, some riveted detail, things like that. Just thought those were cute. And they had a number of pairs. I didn't get them all because they were wanting $5 for each pair of jeans, which is fine, but I just was like a little more than I wanted to spend, given that I'd just gotten a whole bunch of jeans for a dollar or $2. So these are also, these are x-ray jeans. I don't know anything about this brand either. Um, these are size 38, which I don't know what that equates. I think it's plus size, but they have these fab butt patches. I thought that was cool. And if they're possibly my size, what size is a 38 equal? I have no idea. Um, but again, it they feel like a plus size. They could be a men's, but I don't think so because all this stuff there was ladies. And that's buttoning left over right. I don't know. Do jeans go the other way? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see if they may be men's. But they may not be so we'll just see about that and what else is in here oh now this was interesting okay first uh i mentioned it in the video this is a thunder shirt and it uh, might be too small for courtney's dog i thought and i think she already got one um but they're great for dogs who have separation anxiety or stress you kind of wrap them really tight in it and it makes them feel secure so i just thought it'd be a great thing to sell but it definitely needs washed it's in good condition. There's actually not a ton of hair on it. It just has a little odor. A little odor. Odor pooper. All right. And then this is so interesting that I picked it up. It does not have any tags at the back. There's a hole there that I'm going to have to fix. Um, it is an open knit sweater, but it's got this chain woven through it. It's definitely a kid's size, but the chain goes all the way down the front and let's see it has an rn number it is cashmere and wool so i don't know i'm gonna have to look up the rn number and i just thought it was really a funky and cool sweater does it say what size it is no anyway i yeah and as pam says whenever i say i'm not picking up kids clothes she knows i probably picked up kids clothes i didn't mean to i thought it was bigger so there could be an extra small it's extra small there we go that's what i'm going with all right i do have the last sale actually that box is out on the porch so let me go grab it and we only have a few things we're almost done you've almost made it i can't believe you're still here i can't believe i'm still here i need water water and shoes be right back okay i'm gonna try and do this with a box of boots balanced on my lap now this is the last sale i went to and i was gonna save it and go on saturday which is the day i'm filming it today but because they usually have half price this is a sale they've done every year for like 30 years it's at the country like it's the golf club community they do a huge group sale and they don't like to negotiate prices at all and i think what they do is they sell all their stuff and then buy new stuff for next year i don't know i don't think they're donating any of it which is mm. but last year i went for the first time and they have a like a mailing list so they send a text reminder out when they do the new sale they're like super organized about this so i decided to stop by my way home because i had a little more energy left in me and i just wanted to see if it was going to be worth to go back on saturday first thing in the morning for half price and they have a ton of clothes as usual and the year before i got a whole bunch of anthropology and free people stuff and i still have some of that stuff sitting in my closet not all of it i've sold a number of things i got there a couple of things that i got home and they were damaged um you know they said they were new they had new with tags and they then the bottoms were ripped out of one pair of pants i was super bummed about that but 
not the bottom, but like the ankle strap. It was a golf pant. Anyway, so I didn't find that much and I didn't go back today. And they were, they were, she was like, didn't you buy all those clothes last year? I'm like, how do you remember? That's kind of creepy. One. And she's like, oh, you only get in these shoes. I'm like, yeah. I didn't tell her I'd gone to another yard sale where everything was a dollar. So I didn't want to spend like $7 on anthro stuff that's not selling super well. Uh, if they'd had really cute dresses, I might have bought bought them so this is just a pair of cute steve madden booties they are an olivey color grab those they are size seven i believe yeah seven all right this is a pair of uh, booties with i like that little detail on the side these are a uh rockport what size are you i think they're seven too i think these were all from like the same person <laughs> uh doo -doo -doo. US nine and a half. Ooh, almost my size. It's okay. I, when I went to this sale, this is where I got, there was none at that sale, but right around the corner, there was another sale last year. I got really cute boots and I kept one of the pairs. Cause I have never had moto boots and then I had moto boots. All right, so these are Uggs. I paid more for these. Um, they're just a cute boot. There is some scuffing on the toes but the soles have been maybe worn like twice. I'll be able to clean off most of the, the gunk. Um, they're in good condition. I did pay up a little bit for these. We'll see if that was a smart move or a stupid move. They are a size seven. And I like that buckle detail on the side. I don't know if you can see that there. This is hard balancing a box. I should put the box down, but there's not really a place to put it down. So there we go. Uh, these are another really cute pair of boots. Oops. Ah, hold on. Uh, these are Felmini. And they are kind of, again, an all of you brown. Uh, original Felmini. Does it say the size? Uh, size 38, they're made in Portugal. I just thought they were super cute. They have an interesting shape. And I love this belt detail with the chunky buckle. And the last but not least, or maybe the least thing, let me put this down so I can just talk and show you and just wrap this up without an awkward box on my lap. Uh, these are a pair of Coach New York, size seven and a half. Uh, just took them. So they are a nude strappy patent leather. They're in really good condition on top. So like the top looks great. The bottom, has been worn definitely. And then it's just not, I don't know, I'm, I'm, this part here is not glued in super well. I think that's just how it's made. Anyway, they say they have the little coach logo there and this hardware has coach here. So they are authentic as far as I know. I will double check before I list them, um, but they feel great. So that's my last pair of shoes. Oh my gosh, if you made it through that haul, I have not done a haul that long for a long time. I mean, oof. All right, we will definitely have some more one Ikea bag at a time hauls coming up. I have a number of films, but I thought it'd be fun to throw some yard sale footage in there and mix it up. <laughs> you know how my terrible yard sale footage already was last year. And then I haven't practiced it all because when have we gone thrifting or done anything? Ugh. I hope everything's going well with you. I hope that you will now recover from watching this gigantic haul by doing some work of your own or going to take a nap, either one. I will see you later. I really so much appreciate you coming and joining me every time. I have some new subscribers. Regina, hi, thank you so much for leaving comments and talking. Uh, it's super nice to get to know you down in the comments. And it's just really so sweet of all the people who I can count on every time to comment and let me know that you're out there and watching. So I hope everything's going well and I will see you next time. Bye.